until like December 2021. So you've got a little time. So I can put pasties on? If you want that to come out in December 2021, sure. Well, Christmas age. He wants to showcase his talent. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see you, Ralph. I was, I, I, I've got to confess that when Jason first told me about wanting to get all new characters and shit, I was fucking surprised and then upset and then resigned and then fuck it. <laughs> we didn't mean to upset you. It was just something we were kicking around. Well, it's it the, um, hold on, let me grab something. Have hey, more alcohol, I'll deal with you fools. Give me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> You're stressing Logan out already. <laughs> Fucking turn it me to drinking, you bitches. Yeah. I got Kids are driving okay. me to drink. And you can go. Right. The reason. The reason is plot hooks. Uh, there's, there's the... Okay. Vince, I'm going to be brutally honest here and shit, so do not take offense at my shit. Ralph, lecture him about how Logan is a bastard, etc. Okay, Vince is still starting out. He's, he, he shows a lot more promise than I did at his age, okay? Which is high praise because I thought I was badass at 15. Turns out I was fucking wrong, but that's not the important thing. What I'm saying is right now he's still extremely green as far as professional gaming um whereas you two guys are pretty much og old bastards and shit so things that your characters do resonate within the campaign essentially it's the resonance that begins to get layers onto the characters and you guys are um good at making the different resonances and that causes layers and plot hooks and stuff begin attaching themselves to you. So more and more shit over a period of time builds up. Now, here's the thing though. It's the period of time is not real time. It's how many times you play. So if you, for example, in a year, if you get to play 30 times in a year, just to throw out numbers, okay, then that, that, will resonate less than if you got to play a hundred times in the year for example it's how many times you play your character not the period of time okay so that's that's what was like ah god damn it because you know any wrestling rad plots and shit because i was going to start doing slow build up of like you know the employee uh strife and stuff like that because he's got people that work for him and shit which, yeah, okay, we can re we can relegate all that shit to it's going into automation, wrestling rats mysteriously disappeared because it's not like in this campaign, due to the way it's set up, when you're not playing, you're not an NPC. You are fucking gone. There's reasons for all of that. And so pretty much then it'll be it'll become like wrestling rat had to he's starting to do his build up he's getting all his infrastructure in, and then he's gone and so then there'll be the slow decline and eventually that will crumble away and stuff but if you guys are wanting to all make new characters because you play as a group that's fine i'm good with that especially when jason mentioned burlington is okay because now i can put you in a place also uh things that you already know about like the barber shop everybody knows about the barber shop that's all that's kind of offline right now that there's shit going on with that as far as you guys go though the problem you're going to have is i don't really see it as a problem because it's something i would try to do even if we were the only gaming group in other words it's like uh we meet every week once a week for five hours in game i would still be trying to have like a bunch of random shit has happened in between because that helps keep you off balance it helps keep the campaign like oh what's going on over here what's going on over here but essentially if you're confined in one zone so to speak the burlington zone type deal and there's more to it than meets the eye it's like transformers uh then that will begin to build up because um uh, build up follows action follows um how long you're actually spending there what you're doing there in other words if you guys are like we're staying in this zone 
that zone will become more textured, more deep, more shit going on over time. But I never prep on based on what the players say because the players lie all the fucking time. They don't, they're not intending to lie. They don't think they're lying. They're like, you know, I'd like to check this out. And then the, uh, there'll be some minor shiny thing and they'll be like, obviously Logan wants us to go to this. And they will fucking go to that and I'll be like, well, fuck me, right? That was five hours of my life. I'm not getting back from prepping this yeah. other thing that I thought they would go for. And so that's fine. But if you spend a lot of time in this place and I'm like, I'm if I become convinced that you live here now, that shit will begin building up because there's already a lot to Burlington and I'm, I was planning on making more anyway. So pretty much uh, because you guys don't have access to Amber shit and instantaneous travel and assuming that Vince, because one of the things that I love doing with Vince is he's not just gaming with you guys. He games totally differently. I don't know if he knows this or not. He games totally differently when he's with you guys versus others. Because oh yeah, I listen to him. having your dad around, you know, you he he's he's the kind of fucking kid that a lot of parents probably wish they could have, where he actually respects his father as opposed to I'm looking for ways to kill this old bastard at some point. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> but um, so you know he he he's he's doing the like I'm taking notes and I'm listening and that's. Good on one level, but I love having his fucking sense of humor come up in the other groups. And that's why, uh, like I was mentioning with Jason, I'm okay with Vince starting a new character for with you guys, but I would like him to keep going with his old character for the other groups. Keep your old yeah, character. Yeah. yeah. That's I kind of wanted to talk to you a little bit about because I kind of want to do that as well. Because, oh, sorry. Uh <laughs> He's he's old. He needs he needs help, Vince. Uh, oh yeah, Jesus! No. It's like we're watching a fucking World War II reenactment over here, Jay. Hey, the <laughs> bombers are coming in. I can hear them. <laughs> making a cryptography roll right now. Sorry, Vince. Please start again. Oh yeah, I was I was thinking about that a little bit when I. Uh, froze my camera out and whatnot and went upstairs because I'm happy to play uh, two separate characters. That way, uh, my one character can progress at the same rate as these two. And I don't have just some guy with like all level 80 stats when they're at like low 70s or high 60s. Vince, I don't think you know how the system works yet, but that's okay. I understand the sentiment. Um, because as I, well, I'd like to point out that, uh, like when Rassel and Rad, Jay's character, came into game, the other players have been there for anywhere between a few months to a year, year and a half, something like that. And they were like, Rassel and Rad, I'll suck your dick. You are awesome. You are you're needed so bad. Come here. Uh, you know, I mean, they love his character. His character was, he walked in with his 60% in the needed skills and was like, hello. And they're like, oh, you know, because they really, really liked him there. He had skills they didn't. That's the key to uh, a, a useful skills they didn't. If you got underwater basket weaving, nobody gives a fuck unless you're underwater and need to weave a basket. But do you see what I mean? In other words, it's which skills you pick. But if you guys are all wanting to make characters together and shit, and come up with like uh something unifying and then come up with different skills that everybody covers and shit that's cool uh, go for that yeah why not i'm curious to hear more about what what do you guys envision and shit and is ralph actually able to talk to me or is he just like hello come in is this alexander <laughs> graham bell <laughs> oh my god this is the most cumbersome <laughs> shit ever for these poor <laughs> bastards <laughs> no, I was going to change it up. Ralph, I can I make a recommendation? Side, I can I make a recommendation, Ralph? Spend 20 bucks, get Does a it... mic like fucking Jason has. It's uh, it's it's 10 to 20 dollars. I got one. I didn't set it up. You guys are already online. I've got I've got about five mics sitting around here. I just didn't have time to set it up before you guys started. Here, give me one second. Let's see if I can change this out real fast. I mean, it's it's a plug and play, Ralph. It's a plug and play. 
It shows them with this yeah. fucking ancient reel-to-reel computer with the fucking tape spinning back and forth and shit. <laughs> He's like, ah. Where, where's my where's my sound tech, Bobby? <laughs> I am Bobby. Bobby is fucking the most loved NPC you've got because of the tone of voice and shit you use, Jay, when you do him. <laughs> Everybody's like, yeah, fucking Bobby. <laughs> I'm serious. I they talk about Bobby sometimes and shit during other things. They're like, yeah, I like Bobby, you know, or whatever. <laughs> Seriously, uh, the the ability to make NPCs like that. That I mean, he's he's pretty much like he's a one track guy and stuff, but he's like friendly. You know, he's 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 not a like really textured NPC, but he is fucking memorable. <laughs> yeah. They- I wish I could make an NPC like that, where people are like, oh, Bobby, huh? <laughs> never lost a man. Okay, Bobby, <laughs> don't get your sense of that. Like, I fucking love you. Come over here, let me fuck you to death. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no. That, that was one of the things that surprised me after that first session was that he was like the most endearing out of all the NPCs. Oh yeah, I, I could give a cool, shit less I totally about... did not see that coming. The Arnold Schwarzenegger guy, he, he's like, yeah, okay, yeah, I see where you're, but Bobby, Bobby, yeah. you want to fucking take him home and feed him? It's like, yeah, come yeah. on, Bobby, you're not, you're my new best friend. Hey, Bobby, are we going to the zoo? Come on, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figure like Arnold's just the guy that explains how the ship works, or right? Fetch you, fetch you things, and Reefer. Then Bobby's just there <laughs> to make you laugh at the right moment. Yeah, but see, that's that's the that's the thing that uh, like um, a lot of a lot of GMs yeah, always have that. Any okay? Can What's you guys that? hear me now? Oh yeah, yeah, really good. Can we hear Vince? Can Vince say something? Yeah. Or... Oh, right. oh yeah. Get it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, just a couple things here, real fast, Logan. Um, no, just so you know, our our choice of change has nothing what? to do with your game or you as a GM. It's like this. Remember, we used to have the rule like uh, try a group three times and see if you like them. Just for some reason, this character mixture just wasn't working for us does that make sense sure. and, and let me go back here you know i love this campaign i loved the campaign of years old but it's like going back and playing a really old video game and logging on your favorite character it's i'm not the same person you're not the same gm it's right, not the same right. game right right that makes sense you know that's, that's a good yeah. explanation so diplomatic yeah, that, what? Yeah. Well, <laughs> like, when we had, you know, Oak and Lucy and Trent, and we went to go play LARP, and it was a Star Wars LARP that weekend. We were like, ah, oh, you know. <laughs> I'm in it. Okay. So, anyways, I just wanted to let you know that that it's not personal or anything negative. You know. No, no. Well, that's that's why that's why I eventually I hit uh, the stage of grief that's called acceptance and said, okay, what kind of characters are we talking about? <laughs> in in. We talked about this, just so you know, this goes from way back when I first started here playing again with Jay. I'm like, man, I would love it once we decided to like to make a little group. I would love it just to start like in a beginning zone and experience the game fresh. Does that make sense? Uh, Burlington's but, as fresh as it gets, but uh, uh, Jay's got a little experience in Burlington. And yes, I'm sorry, I forgot okay. about the naked thing. But Jay, you'd be amazed how many motherfuckers go out naked. It's become a fucking thing. They don't even talk to each other. They all spontaneously do it themselves. That's why I forgot. I apologize. There's been at least four or five. I, and fucking TJ, his character went downstairs naked, went across the street to the fire department, got an axe, came back, chopped up the fucking people working there while naked. He pulled a Rick Sanchez, okay? So, uh, but you guys really don't know that much about Burlington. It's Ooh, well... Hard. Pardon? That's what we want. We I was going to say, it's well expanded from the old Burlington. So we didn't, even, we, didn't even, we didn't even know the old Burlington that much, really. You're, <laughs> you're, 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 in, you're in a good place then. Yeah, that's what we wanted. We wanted just, we even talked about it, um, about going, this is before everything happened. We talked about going back to the old Burlington. The problem is, is it's been played through and ransacked so many times that we wanted to go through and meet everybody in the town and talk mm-hmm. to them and to, discover you know what i'm saying yeah there's there's a lot of shit there um Mm -hmm. there's a basic bubble map uh that freddy's put up if you guys are wanting it if you're not if you're uh, see that's that's one of the tricky bits is like uh the in-game board because i don't you guys just go meh Eh. 
I don't even have time to read it, to tell you the truth. I am oh, so busy. That, that I mean, fucking works. So, I mean, you know, you, you could take me off of there if you want to, but I don't read it. I It's, so. it's up to you guys what you choose to uh, look into and stuff. But, yeah, if you're if you're abstaining from the in-game board and stuff, then you're not going to worry about hitting any of the oh. stuff you shouldn't know. <clears throat> yeah, 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 exactly. Going forward, I had no intention of doing that. I thought that would add um, just kind of a another level of interest to what we're doing the the thing that might be frustrating for you on some levels is until you have uh cracked some of the mysteries of burlington uh that um, how do i put it um the 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 way that the area functions on uh, if for some people can be frustrating. I would personally consider it refreshing, but um, also the the other PCs like uh, actions may influence things. So it's like it having having the campaign be Nero style where you've got different groups that are all affecting shit that's going on in the overarching story that it's pretty much shit that's completely out of your control. I love that because then it, the world is alive. Whether you're doing anything or not, the world is fucking doing shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree with that. And yeah, that's I like kind of how it is now though, right? Right. Well, there, there's not a big change from what you're seeing now, but I just wanted to warn you that uh, there's a lot going on with Burlington and honestly, the other players have not figured it out or they've gotten pieces of it. And then they come up with the, this is the first campaign I've ever run where mythology is springing up because the players see like, for example, they see the closed closet doors behind Jason and they go, it's where he keeps the ghoul. And, you know, you're thinking, I wonder where they got the ghoul from. And then they'll just be, they'll tell it somebody else is a fact. There's a ghoul in the closet behind Jason. And then everybody takes that as rote. And right. then when there isn't, they get pissed at me because they thought I forgot about the ghoul. And I'm like, God, there was never a ghoul in the closet. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Seriously, this is the first campaign where I've had actual Loch Ness monster myths building up. I want to know what, what kind of group, uh, like what's, what's the unifying thing of your group? Yeah, I mean, right now what we were leaning towards was um, a group of three people from the future. So like kind of space environments, so almost like, Green uh, type tech like a team of scouts from like a Star Trek type of thing. Like they're sure. part of some federation, but they're like a, a forward team that goes out and uh, does scouting. We were going to have uh, Vince be the uh, leader of the group. So they're like on a. Are like you a, fucking so with him? Is that it? So he. So like we were thinking, like he'll be a lieutenant or a captain or a major or something like that, and then uh, Ralph and I will be kind of like the the science or engineer kind of officers with him. But uh, that's like the concept of the group is to go out and scout new planets and stuff like that. And uh, could I make that's a recommendation? The genre so far, but we're open to. We got a lot of different ideas, and we're open to adapting. Why not? Why not go for the uh, Star Trek trilogy? Uh, Captain, uh, first officer uh, slash uh, uh, science officer, and uh, doctor or engineer type thing. You know, basically the Star Trek trilogy. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like that. Like yeah, so, that's... so Vince is kind of like the Kirk, and you know, one of us would be like the Spock, and one of us would be yeah. you know like uh, Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I, I, I mean that uh i i understand why you're doing that to try to push him up however um he's green enough where i'm thinking he's his main education isn't going to come with his dad and his dad's old friend it's going to come with running with the other groups because mm -hmm. there he is expressing himself he's he's finding it he's found his feet very well um and he's he if he starts reading the cards entirely he will definitely get his feet better yeah that's right bitch i didn't forget about that um but um 
I think I, I wouldn't push him to necessarily be the leader. I, I would I would probably have one of you two or, or everybody's equal rank. Like maybe there's no captain with you and it's like the engineer, science officer. and uh, We talked about that too, but it also kind of makes uh, it, it, it works because both of us would still be advising him. It's our job to give him enough to make the proper decisions and things like that. And, it's, we'll, it's, be, we'll be behind him, but putting him on the spot. <laughs> true, but honestly, I, I'm, I'm thinking that uh, his his confidence uh, will grow with experience sure. rather than being thrust into it because he's, he's already he's, part of the he's, experience. <laughs> well, to a degree, I believe me, the other players fuck with him plenty, and that's what's going to really do it. Um, Plus, he's he's just finding out uh, a lot of stuff in the other groups. Like even today, he was running like a, a murder mystery thing, and it's like, well, bad shit happened. Okay, what do you do? And he's all by himself, and he's like, okay, I'm walking over to this area and stuff. You know? Yeah, so. well, we could change it up. We that was just our first concept was we wanted to have like a commander, a science, and an engineer, if you will, and we're also happy to treat it that you know we're there to help you know what i'm saying but we're here to observe kind of just based loosely on the star trek we're going to engage but we're not going to um you know we want to also kind of like infiltrate and give us a reason to go through everybody's house we're sure. here to just kind of like a well i mean team. if i was trapped in a place uh like burlington then eventually i would be up in everybody's fucking business exactly oh yeah so yeah burlington is stuck with us it's not the other way around right you know that's right. that's where we're with this and uh oh, yeah. I, I can see that being a lot of fun plus you guys honestly even though i would love you to be able to play more your schedules and as jay calls it bandwidth is insufficient for that which leads me to the cloning experiments. When are you guys going to start cloning yourself so that I can get you in there? <laughs> yeah, I wish. And as mm. soon as they turn 18, you know, just kick them out. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new game. Um, so, you know, and, uh, you know, that was also it is because of our bandwidth. You know, one thing that you got to remember too, Logan, is so we play, and I'm going to paraphrase this a little bit here. So we play about 12, 15 times a year. Freddie and Chris and some of those guys would play that in two weeks. Sure. And so, yes, while you live, we have this living world, it changes so radically. It's like picking one random episode of a, right. you know, the Simpsons per year, yeah. you know, for 30 years. And it's like, ah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so we spend so much time catching up that we're missing the, the the main thing is role playing and having fun together as a group mm -hmm. because okay. we're too busy playing catch up. Does that make sense? And so we just want to make our own memories. You can just keep us in Burlington forever, whatever, until it's time to well spread our wings. You know, yeah, you guys may even find a like. Uh, I'm not sure when my next big prep time is coming because CV is throwing everything into who the, yeah. who the fuck knows. Uh, but uh, you guys may end up being the first uh, people into a zone, and other people may not even discover that zone for a long time. I don't know. We're okay with that, Logan. That's what we're getting at. We're treating it like we're an away team, and like in Star Trek, it's like wherever you throw us, we're there. We beam down, we zone in, we're happy, and we also didn't want to build too big of a backstory. We're just treating it like we're the scout away team because then if you want to tie us into anything that you might have already prepped. Oh, I've, I've can... already got some ideas when you said away team and shit. It's like, because you don't have to be from the Benevolent Federation. I mean, yeah, no. there's a lot of other shit. And yeah, yeah. Uh, memories might trickle back now and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That awesome. That's what we were looking for because we okay. didn't want to. We're like, why are we here? I don't know, but we know we have a job to do. Let's go do it. You know what I mean? And we all assume our roles and Wonderful. explore. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, we know what our job is, but obviously, like, we're, we're we would wake up spotty memories, not sure how we got there. We just adapt, <laughs> like we would have on one of our previous missions. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm 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 good with all that. Okay, um, good. good. Yeah, if, if do you have any more specifics on your character types or anything? Or, it could be those three, 
archetypes with some overlap. There's going to be yeah. someone kind of commander face man, you know, with a lot of the mm -hmm. etiquettes and softer skills. There's well, going to be a science guy with the living sciences and engineer with more of the harder sciences. Right. The the biggest problem, as you know, already with face man in this system is you actually have to be good at bullshitting to a degree. I mean, while it's good to uh, build Vince up to that, and he occasionally does come up with some shit, it's like, that sounds plausible. Okay, give it a roll. Yeah. I don't know if I'd force him into that right away. I mean, that's up to you, but yeah, I don't know. Because that's, that's, that, that, that's uh, difficult because it's, it's in, in the game, nobody goes, all right, Jason, you're going to try your sword skill. Let's see your real life sword skill before we uh, go with that, okay? <laughs> that that I doesn't come up. <laughs> Whereas, you know, in the game, it's like, yeah, you better give me some good real life fast talking and then we'll let you roll, you know? I mean, I think there there's obviously got to be some kind of leeway because, I mean, if he wants to use advanced mathematics or sciences or painting or anything. Oh, yeah. Like, well, no, I'll, I'm, I'm just saying that uh, because it's a talking game, the mm -hmm. talking yeah. skills, you actually have to role play out, then you get a roll, whereas yeah. you don't have to role play out swinging a sword. Mm -hmm. That's been something that I've adhered to for decades. Right. Because it's a talking game. If it was an actual sword fighting game, then it's like, if you could actually score three on Ralph, then your sword fighting role will be easier and you don't have to talk, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. I mean, I could take the command if you still want to play the engineer, Jay. You know what I mean? And Vince could be the soft science guy. He's smart. He's got better grades than I do. So, <laughs> I do. He, he's still in school. He didn't. He didn't drop out at 12 years old to go work at the uh, the the uh, uh, ranch and stuff like that. So. Yeah. We still got coal mines here. I can still send them off. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the ranch. <laughs> That'd be a fucked up situation. Yeah, no, I um, make your when are, when is the next day you guys are all scheduled up for? Next Sunday. You've got plenty of time to get your characters in line and shit. We can do that. We are, we already started working on that last night or last day or two. We started talking about it. And, and just so you know, Logan, this is making us excited as players that you're that's, allowing us that's to do why that. it, that's one of the things that made me happy about it. Um, because I want my players to be excited. Yeah, I put no note to self, Burl. Uh, it means Burlington. I'm being and sneaky. Just you know, you're going to love this one. You were the one that made me realize that I'm not suede anymore. When I watched you play suede in Jason's game, doing the naked country. No, I, I, you, Jay, you tell him, ask him. I said immediately after that, he plays a better suede than I do. <laughs> At that point, I realized, I'm like, I'm too old for this. You know what I mean? It's just... God damn. Yeah, but um, as long as as long as Vince is uh, still signing up for other stuff, like for example, we've still we've got an opening on Wednesday. Um, and looking down, next opening is like May tenth, Sunday. Assuming I'm still in this country and shit, uh, because if they say you can go to the EU, I'm fucking gone. I'm going to take an hour, pack up all my worldly possessions and disappear into EU because I don't want this country to go, you know, you overstayed your visa by 50 days. You now owe us 50 times 50 is $2,500 pay up, white boy. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Doubling each day that you're there, right? Um, <laughs> Dude, never trust the fucking government. Nope. Government will, it's bureaucracy will roll over you. And just so you know, we're going to be off the laptop as of tomorrow. I've got a new PC coming in. Ooh. Ooh. It's in town now. Just didn't deliver it, so I get it tomorrow. Nice. Well, somebody will be at home for the delivery, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. That's the nice thing about this house is there's always at least two to three people awake at all times, 24 hours. Good luck breaking into this house. There's always people awake. <laughs> I'm, I'm just impressed that you have such a quiet area to play in. That's a good deal. I'm not. Everybody's a gamer in this house in some fashion, so therefore they respect the game, you know? <laughs> cool. What else do you need from me? Uh, just your blessings that you're good with it, that, you know, we do this kind of a way thing and... Um, 
<laughs> Sorry, I know there's nothing behind that. We're fine. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm the biggest fucking atheist around, dude. Religion's a poison. Oh, yeah. So, so you drifted a little bit towards neutral now, huh? Ah, oh, Jesus, I hate religion. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's responsible for every horrible thing humanity it, it allows you to do horrible things and say god wants me to kill you <laughs> not because i'm a dick not because i want your shit but god <laughs> said it that's, that's what i tell, I I tell my kids when they uh <laughs> i am the chosen one from the lord below <laughs> yeah. Now, keep in mind, I don't know if you're, if you're right now, I'm not hearing any feedback from your mic, but uh, with, with sometimes on the mics, like uh, Jason's, that's why I always suggest Jason's mic. And if I ever get to fucking England, and right now it sounds like England is not doing well. Um, so I don't think I'm going to go there right away because they're dying. Um, but, um, uh, some of the mics you get echo on right now yeah. i've not gotten any echo i have no idea why so hmm. but i still recommend headphones like these i don't even feel the sometimes i get up and i go wait 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 i've still got the headphones on <laughs> oh yeah that's the worst thing about these you forget you have them on and then you try to kill yourself when you leave the computer All right <laughs> so yeah now go for yeah, it I um, think, uh, mm -hmm. yeah I I was going to say, I, nothing else that I would need, because I think you just wanted to get together and get a grasp of the concept. That's kind of what you were saying. It's a, it, sound, it sounds interesting to me. My, my biggest thing is I want you guys to be happy. And, sorry, Vince, I want Vince to get a good gamer education, because he's starting at just the right age for yeah. professional gaming. And Vince, I don't know if you've noticed that I have a big difference between the casual, like we get together once a month in two, three hours and drink some suds and roll some dice and kill some monsters and then fuck off and don't see each other for maybe a month, maybe a more if people can't get together then, you know, that's, that's not why I consider professional gaming. Professional gaming is hardcore mode and I've been doing it all my life. These yeah. guys can fucking attest that, except for the nine years I took out to do real life adventuring, which, you know, I didn't game then. <laughs> yeah, don't be afraid to throw anything our way. We're happy with mods, sandbox in Burlington. It's you all know. it's all sandbox with uh, some mod-ish stuff, but um, for actual mod mods, that's a whole different uh, place and stuff, you know, because we, yeah. we just wanted to come up with a group that was happy to go dig the ditch to look for the ancient burial ground who was also willing to go to the dinner party and impress the president. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We wanted to have that. That makes sense. That no matter what gets thrown at us, we're on it. I, I like, I like that it, it's uh, intangible enough to do a lot with, but it's tangible enough that just by like, we're a Star Trek away party. Okay. Boom. That totally, I've got a handle on the group. You don't know why you're here. You don't know necessarily who you work for and all that. Good. You're an away party. Got it. Easy. Awesome. Yeah. And we wanted something that had the potential just for the comedic element, you know, so oh, yeah. the idea of the people from the future showing up and thinking, okay, this is our job. We're here to study this place and document it and uh, report back. Well, and like, that's that's one of my favorite things of the game is there's a lot of fucking dopamine release because people laugh their asses off every game session there's some funny shit in there you know mm -hmm. not quite up to jimmy Carr fucking standards i'm not jimmy fucking Carr, but there's some funny shit that the players are up to and stuff so right right 